Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Dirt and Iron. In this video, we're going to talk about some basic tools you're going to need in order to maintain your dirt bike. So stick around. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing, hit the button below and jump on the board. I have new video each week covering different dirt bike topics and I'll do my best to keep you guys motivated. In this video, I'm not going to talk about anything too advanced. I'm going to cover a basic stuff, basic maintenance and some troubleshooting that every single one of you would be able to do at home in your garage. First of all, this is my notebook. This is my history. When I do something on my bike, when I change oil or you know fix something, change sprocket, put new chain in or something like that, I always write it down in this uh, notebook or whatever you call it. I write the date, I write the bike, and then I also write uh, the hours when I perform the work. Highly recommend have one notebook like this for your bike as well. All right. If I do something on my bike, 90% uh, of the time I put uh, rubber gloves on because I work with uh, some chemicals, you know, oil filter, uh, oil or some grease, something like that. So in order not to get too dirty and to protect your hands, put on these gloves after you're done, toss it in the trash and you are clean. In my toolbox, I carry very basic tools that you can get in any hardware store. Here on the top, I got some pliers, uh, you know, cutters, uh, needle nose and different sizes. And here you're gonna see some tapes and different sizes of a, of a socket. Actually, this size is the one that I use all the time on my dirt bikes. Many balls on the dirt bikes have uh, this size, so I use it a lot. This is a basic set of uh, you know, sockets and different sizes uh, in metric and standard. You, I got it on a Sears, so this is a Craftsman brand. I got it because you got a lifetime warranty on these things, so if you break it, they will give you a new one for free. But uh, you can go with any other brand. There is a Crestman, uh, there is a Crestman range, and you know some mirror to see see things. Here I have uh, deep sockets and a wire brush to clean things, and of course, metric and standard set of wrenches. You are going to need a set of uh, screwdrivers, flathead and Phillips, set of picks, and also set of Allen's. These are the pliers for your snap ring. I uh, highly recommend to get one. If you are going to replace your front sprocket, or there are a couple of things on the dirt bike, they have this snap ring. It's super difficult to remove it with the pliers or two screwdrivers, something like that. Get pliers that are meant for it. You will save a lot of time and headaches. Dirt bikes are race machines and every single bolt on a dirt bike comes with a specification from a factory that you can find in your manual that tells you what kind of torque you are supposed to use to tighten that. Bolt. That's why you really need a torque wrench. Set it to a desired value and use it for your bolts. For the oil changes, very handy thing is this measuring cup. You can steal it from kitchen from your wife or your mom and use it on your dirt bikes. Uh, there will be written on a dirt bike how much oil you need, so just fill it up to a desired uh, value. Use your funnel, oil change, super easy. Now on a dirt bike, especially on a two strokes, uh, there is a lot of vibrations. So all the bolts that are on a dirt bike, uh, they do get uh, to vibrate a lot. So every time when I put the bolt back uh, in the bike, most of the bolts, I use this uh, thread locker. And I highly recommend to use that for your bolts if you don't want to be losing bolts from your bike. I do my own uh, tire changes uh, and highly recommend for you to do it as well. It somehow makes me happy, you know, if I do my, uh, my own tire, if I change it. It's not easy, it's difficult, you need to use a lot of power, you need to have a certain technique, but after you are done, it just makes you really happy. So, get these tire spoons. Uh, these are actually a little bit short. I recommend to get something a little bit longer so then you don't have to use a lot of strength when you are changing the tire. Now, before you go riding, you need to check your tire pressure. Depends what kind of uh, terrain you're going to do. You're going to do some rocky terrain or some sand. You're going to do track or you're going to ride the trails. You need to have a gauge and check your tire pressure. Usually those gauges for a car, they're not very sensitive for up to 10 PSI. After 10 PSI, they're fine, but 210 PSI, it's very hard to see if you have seven PSI or S, eight PSI or five. So I recommend to get a tire pressure that is designed for dirt bikes. They would be more sensitive to this low number of PSI and you will be able to set your tires or on eight or seven PSI very easily. It's essential, it changes a lot when you're riding on a, on a different terrain. If you have different pressure in your tire, it does changes a lot and it helps a lot. 
to definitely get one of these. All right, that's about it for the maintenance. That's about it for the stuff that you need to have to maintain your bike. And what I highly recommend to have if you have trouble on your bike is to get a multimeter or voltmeter. When you, are lose, when you lose a spark, the first thing what I'm gonna do when I lose a spark, I will change the spark plug. If I still don't see any spark on the spark plug, then I'll go all the way back to a stator and see if my stator is fine. And there is, the only way you can check it is to have a voltmeter. And also, if you have a voltmeter, you can use it around your house, you can use it on your car, you can use it uh, on many different things. So, having a voltmeter, understanding it to a basic level, it's quite essential, it can save you a lot of time. You don't need to know every single function on this thing. You just need to know how to check continuity, how to check resistance, and how to check your voltage. If you want to know the, the values of the resistance and all these things, you can find them in your, in your manual and it will be very easy to check. So once my stator is okay, I will move up all the way to a spark plug and check every single thing, all the components. There are maybe four or five components, depends what kind of bike you have, and you can find all the values in your manual. So this thing will help you to diagnose the problem and to find which component is not working. So if you find that your stator is bad, you need to take it off and there is a magnet that you need to remove first. And uh, I want to talk about some specific tools uh, for dirt bikes for, uh, you know, taking things apart. Please don't try to pr pry your uh, magnet with uh, some kind of big screwdriver or hit it with a hammer. Get a specialty tools that are designed for that kind of task. You don't have to get them a hat. Uh, I got this one when I had a problem with my RM. I had to remove my stator. So I got this uh, puller that is specifically designed for all the dirt bikes. Watch out when you get it because there is an opposite thread for this first part. And then you use the right thread to, to remove it. Definitely recommend to get these uh, specialty tools for the specific task you need to do on your bike. Alright well, guys, that's about it for today. I think uh, I covered the stuff that you're gonna need to keep your bike running, prep it before the ride, and then do some basic troubleshooting if you have a problem with the bike. And uh, you know, I love to ride a bike, but also I like to stay, stay in the garage, uh, listen to some music, and work on my bike, uh, make it ready for my next ride. I think it's a part of all that dirt bike experience. So I highly recommend you to uh, you know, get a little dirty, get your hands a little dirty and work on your own bike. I think you will have uh, more pleasure riding it if you also work on it. That's about it for today, guys. Uh, hopefully you find this video helpful and don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Hey, if you if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing, hit the button below and jump on the board. I have a new video each week and a different, different... <laughs> if you are new to this channel... If you are new to this... If you are new to this... <laughs> if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing, hit the button below.